right? Uh, I'll just so what we were just seeing now how to do a totaling of operation. So if I, if I like to do a total, I just put English, Maths, Physics, these are all my subjects. I am totaling it with putting that column E2 plus D2 plus C2. Later I can copy the columns to all other uh, rows without any problem. Automatically the formula gets adjusted. As you can see now, the E3, D3, E4, the each row value automatically adjusts. That's one major advantage of this Excel sheet. Later we can also do copying by press, pressing this plus symbol at the right hand side bottom corner of each of the column. I can select it, double click it, automatically it gets uh, copied. So double click on it, it copies to the all the rows. The next thing that we are going to do is average. Now we are done total. So like this I can do subtraction, I can do division. Division we have seen it over here. F2 divided by 300. So you can see the over here. I can also put here F2 so like this. If I do it like this, you can see an error here. So this is not considered as a division. Right? So you give an error. You get an error. This, if you get any information like this, that means your formula is having a problem. This indicates, this ash name question mark indicates that formula that we have given having a problem. Syntax error, we call it as in the terminology of IT. Right? If you get any of the field like this, it indicates that that particular column is having an issue. Right? So this is what? Uh, important. So wherever you see that name, so I just give the wrong formula now. So I give a wrong formula. You can see a name. This indicates that it is a error. It's a mistake. Fine. Now, I like to do average. I want to know the average age of my class. Uh, what does ash means before name? So what does ash means before name? This ash indicates it's a system defined information. Question mark indicates that there is a problem over there. It's not a user defined information. It's a system defined information. So it does not mean that I put like this means it is a system defined. It is, it is actually a data. You can see a comment over there in the top. So when I click on to this uh, exclamatory mark, you can see formula contains unrecognized text. This is the reason for that error, information. So every error you get this information. This is your uh, simple help. This will show you where the formula contains unrecognized text. So you can know where the problem is. Right? Fine. If I go here, you will not get that comment. Right? That's the information. Perfect. Now, I go back. Now we, we like to go with average. I want to know the average age in my class. Please note, we are now dealing with six rows. In reality, you may have thousands of rows. So you have to extrapolate your imagination to thousands of rows we are trying to deal with. That is where the Excel sheet becomes very powerful. For three or four rows, of course, it is not a big thing. But when I am dealing with thousands of rows, I cannot deal with individual row any longer. So that is the power of Excel sheet. Now I am going to do an average. So average, if I type it over here, equal, you can see in the left hand side, function. So insert a function. I can insert a function using this. If I don't know what is the command I need to type. Right? I don't know what is the syntax I need to follow. I can use this function fx. So it will give me most used functions in below. Please note, I am just going doing it again. If I want to enter a function here, I can go with insert function. So click on insert function. It will give me this function here. If I want to do average, you can just say average. So of course it is available in the function here. Average. So average is this information. So I 
if I go help on this function, I can click on help on this function as well. So I can do it in multiple ways. So here average, I go here equal to average. You can see as uh, average over here returns the average. This is called IntelliSense. In the terminology that we generally use, we use the terminology, the name we use is called IntelliSense. Intelligence applied by typing itself. While you are typing, I am getting that IntelliSense. In Google, you might have noticed, when you type it in the search, automatically you get a filter box. Same way. So, average returns the average arithmetic mean of its arguments. So, average bracket so number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So I say close it. So this is my average age of my class. So average age is this. So 19.8 is my average age. What is the average mathematics marks? I can use like this. Right? I can also use here oh, oh, auto sum, auto sum. I can also use here average. So it is in formulas. I can use here average. Right? I can also block it like this. This is also another way of doing an average. I will redo it. One way of doing the average is as we have done initially. Each field, comma. So these are all the values. If I want to give a range, this is called range. C2 to C6. I am giving a range over here. Right? So that is also possible. So that is also giving average. So how I do this? I can do it in many ways. Come to the formulas. Just click on auto average here. So automatically you will get the average. So this is my average. So this, I can do a copy paste as well. Control C, Control V. Automatically the average of this will come. So average total. Control C, Control V. I get an average total. Average percentage, I can control C, control V. This is my average percentage. Right? So this is my average percentage. So I can do, I can get the average as well here. So I am getting a percentage, individual percentage, individual total. I am also able to get the average percentage, average total. I want to know the minimum. I want to know the maximum in each subject. Right? Minimum M I N. Minimum. It returns the smallest number in a set of values. Again I can give a range. Start from here. Give a range like this. So minimum is 18. So in my class, the minimum age in my class is 18. Minimum mark so scored in all the subject minimum percentage is this. So 82. Uh, another thing I can uh, do here is if I, I want this 91.66 in the percentage. One we have done select this. We have done this clip. That is one. Another way is I can also put format painter. Format painter copies the same format into this column. The same format I have here. I copied it to this. That is also possible. That is format painter. So, uh, today's class, lot of uh, features we are talking about. We started with the feature called addition. Then we started with the feature called percentage. Then we have started with the feature called average. And then minimum. So, minimum marks scored in my class. Minimum max marks, physics, etc. Right? So this is the total of this minimum. F2. So it is not minimum of F2, F6. This is wrong. So here I am supposed to use sum. I can also use sum. Total. Totaling is nothing but a sum. 
This is what the minimum. This is the right one. Not I should not take two eighty one. Right. So uh, it should not be B eight. It should be C. So C eight. So minimum is two seventy three. That is my minimum mark. So two seventy three is my total minimum total that I get. Or if you want to really take the minimum total of the students, then I have to use min. So you have to decide how you want. What is the data that you want? Is it a total of the minimum marks, or is it the in my class who is the who has got the total lowest total? So this will give right now. This is giving a lowest total, right? This is going to give the minimum or sum of the minimum this is the sum of the minimum so there is a difference between this and that so you have to be very careful on your requirements so this is sum of minimum right i want to now say what is this so i can introduce comment as well right click comment create comment insert comment right i can also create a comment this value is the minimum total scored by the students i can give a comment as well here so whenever i place my cursor i get the comment i move the cursor over here i don't have to select the particular cell itself i move the cursor automatically i get the total so that is also possible so maximum same way max of starting from here max age in my class maximum marks scored right so maximum total in my class so this is the maximum total so maximum percentage in my class right so i can also do it in this way as well so maximum percentage of my classes this so this is average minimum and maximum so minimum mark scored maximum mark scored minimum average mark scored so i have all these three values so this for a statistical information these informations are very crucial so generally the minimum average maximum is always used right so next we move on to the next important parameter that is date right uh there is a question asked can i use uh, if and count count functions yes you can use if and count functions i'll tell you We are going to the formulas. The last topic of today's is that complex formulas. In that, we will talk about those. And then uh, there is a question: Can we define user-defined functions similar like max, minimum, etc.? That is what macro is all about. Using macro, you can define any of the functions. Available functions. You want to plug multiple functions that you can do it within the using if conditions as well. Right. So. Uh, that formulas will continue even tomorrow session in that we will get more clarity on the depth of the formulas that we can use right fun now there is uh, there is another information it is like this i want to add suresh varadarajan shruti sweta i want to add in a single statement i want to add all these people name into a single statement into a single variable right uh, people there is a question asked i need explanation on format painter uh, format painter i will explain you more as i go inside for example uh, i let me have it like this this one i am changing the font to save 16 this alone all this columns i am changing it to the font 16 say i am changing it to 16 right another is i am making it as bold and underline this and i give a color for each of the font make it as red color 
So this is what I have it in this cell. Right? Now I have a data over here. So this data or I have a I have I have done now three activities. One, I increase the font over here, increase the font to 16. I made this as bold, I made it as underlined, I may I selected the color. So there are four activities I have done now with a normal data. This is my standard data. To this standard data, I have applied now four, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, in features. That is four different types. One, change the font. Two, I made it as bold. Three, I underlined that particular comp uh, column. Four, I have selected a different color to that column. So all these four activity, I want to pass it to this G column. All these four activities, I want to pass it to this entire G column. So if I have to do that, one way is select each one and then do all the four activities that you have done for this. Otherwise, you choose this use format painter. Right? Once you have a format painter, you can see a paint brush to the right of my, uh, with my uh, mouse. So you can see a paint brush to the mouse. I choose now what are all the things <coughs> that I want to replace. Now you can see that it has been replaced now. Right? Now percentage is not available because this far, this particular cell doesn't have a percentage. Now I want to give a percentage, I need to enable manually now percentage. So this is what the format painter is all about. So multiple formatting of a column, I can paste it in a single shot to the other columns. That is what format painter is all about. Uh, then can I get formulas for all what you have explained? Can I get formulas for all? So formula is here. If you select it, uh, what I will do is, I will tell my people to send this Excel sheet to you all. So that you can see that in your uh, mail ID. Right? I will tell that in that way. So that will be easier. So I save it as a class notes. Each class, whatever the topic we are taking, I send that Excel sheet in the mail and it will reach you through email. That will make it uh, easier for you to understand. Perfect. I hope it is clear now as of now. Right? Does format painter will not impact the data? It will not impact the data. The inside the formulas it will not change. Only the formatting it will change. Formatting is different from formatting is different from cell formula. Cell formula it will not change. Right? Here the formula is F2 by 300. Here the formula is uh, E2, D2, C2. Here it is a static text. It will not change this. Only the formatting will be formatting is changed. Right? So is this clear? So fine. Uh, the next important thing that is uh, we are trying to do is I was talking about I have this Suresh Varadarajan uh, Shruti, Sveta, Ravikant. I want all these people, I want to put it here like this. Suresh, right, uh, ka Kama, Varadarajan, Kama, Shruti. I want to make a data like this. How to do it? All the uh, rows I have, I want to do it like this. How to do it? So easiest, that is called concatenation, string operation. Now we are into string operation. That is called concatenation operator. So concatenation operator, so concatenation. Concatenation is the operation now. Concatenate. So I have to start with the equal symbol. Concatenate. You can see now concatenate. Right? Uh, just a second. So I am back. So now concatenate 
then select the column that you want to concatenate this is you meant for string concatenation then comma second text you can see the formula the way the formula is moving you can get a help here right then I want to put a comma here so this comma is not the comma that you have uh, put it Suresh comma Varadarajan so you have to use quotes again put a comma this is called static text so putting a data within a quotes is called static text now this is system comma you can see as I put a comma it is moving on to the third line so third text is Varadarajan right A3 so A2, A3 are variables so or indirectly it is a row information A2 is a row, second row A3 is the third row followed by comma right comma here followed by A Shruti A4 followed by so this quotes whatever I am giving it within quotes is called static text so in this static text I can give anything for example I can give a bracket as well I can give a curly braces I can give a so I can give a curly braces as well anything that I give system will take as it is you can see now Ravi Kant is within curly braces no comma between Sweta and Ravi Kant you can see that the reason is here in Sweta, comma, Ravi Kant, there is no comma, I have not used comma. You can see in the top, I have not used a comma. If I want a comma and curly braces, I am just editing the record now. Right? Place your cursor here. Put comma before this curly braces. Now you will get comma, then within curly braces, Ravi Kant. So this is called string concatenation.